we have a system which consists of three strings of uh, 11 panels on each string, 33 panels of, of the REC, REC uh, split panels. There's um, 120 cells and each set of 60 cells is in parallel and, that, and the bus bar is in the middle and that way they reduce the, you know, the loss in the bus bars which uh, ends up giving you more or oh, less area for the bus bar and more area for the, for the solar collection and that way they can improve the efficiency of the panel. So that's the standard panel these days, 360 watts. 365 for the project. Oh, 365, there you go. Um, so, in a very short period of time. I just come across here, these um, rooftop isolators are very, very interesting. Now there's, a, it's the new Kennedy um, rooftop isolator box. It has um, a little adjustable flap which completely protects it from the sun. And uh, that way there's less, less uh, UV getting onto the, the plastic case of the rooftop isolator itself and the rooftop Hi, my name's Phil Hapgood. Um, I'm from Radiant Energy Systems in Geelong. Uh, we've been in the solar industry for 23 years, working on um, off-grid and grid hybrid systems, as well as a little bit of solar hot water and a little bit of wind generators, but not so much nowadays. So what we have here, we have the, the 33, 33 panels on the roof, 33 times 365 watt arrays, and they come down to this particular switch here, and each of those arrays are in parallel, three arrays in parallel. Each array is about um, 10 amps of DC, and uh, this is a rating of about 32 amps total. So we've got 31 amps coming in at 500 volts. So the uh, DC energy comes into the engine team, six kilowatt uh, grid feed and off-grid inverter. So it can run as an off-grid system if it wishes, or it can run in, uh, in conjunction with, with the grid, as a grid hybrid arrangement. So in here you've got a, um, is that a 15 kilowatt? Yeah. 15 kilowatt um, DC uh, charge controller which charges the BYD uh, battery. This particular battery is six kilowatt hours, but it, that can be expanded up to um, probably 12, 18, five. Five times. Five, up to 30 kilowatt hours in total. Uh, so this is a, a six kilowatt hour battery just to start with. So the um, Ingetame inverter is, is six kilowatt continuous, a 40 degree centigrade. Um, so it, it's quite capable of running all, all the house loads uh, at, the, at, the one, at the one time. If that should exceed six kilowatt, um, it, it brings in some of the grid to, to help support the system. Now, this particular, um, System now has the, um, the Australian made electronics automatic transfer switch. Should the, should the inverter fail, it automatically changes over to the grid. This is the, now, so that's the um, electronics made in Queensland, this particular unit, automatic transfer switch. Should, um, should the Grid fail and perhaps the engine team inverter fail for some reason, and you want generator backup, or if you want the generator to charge the battery, um, you, you just bring that down to generator, that particular switch system, and you can run off the generator. There's a generator there that could be used to help help and support that. So if you're on, um, on an off-grid system, uh, generator support is pretty pretty necessary because most of the time in winter, um, you do need some backup power coming through. Although on this particular system, it's... Um, so this is Phil Hapgood signing off. See you next time.